One island, two different beaches, north and south, one clay, one chalk emerging from the Wealden Sands. Both are studios for the artist man, where he makes solid structures conjured from his visions and imagination. Come north side first. Here he raises shapes extracted from the ground itself and uses for material what beach itself provides. Branches from long drowned trees, seaweed slack above the tide plaited, woven into forms at one with clay, and also wood and stones, slimed and slippery. What he gathers as inert, he builds to images perceived within his inner eye, made thence by hand as if clays were given life from elements extracted out of this haunt of lugworms, cockles, water fleas. First, the artist man, his wife beside him, chooses branches, thin and sea-stripped, to act as frames, clothed with clay until a thought becomes material. Does his eye see living creatures, or pure form itself? We may only see the vision when it's born, cannot travel with him to his mind. Is that a swan with wings outspread, preceding flight? What creature that witch, with its robes of seaweed, outstrips imagination, but lurks? as if in dreams as something elemental to believe. Maybe twigs stripped from trees long tumbled, bleached until you might suppose them mermaids stranded in the sun, are stuck around the forms as might suggest some armoured beast emerging from primordial worlds to survive in that interval between the tides which seem about to take first steps and merge into the woods beyond. But clay is soft and malleable. When tide touches, it dissolves, and what seemed solid melts again to silt and mud as if it never had been there and only stays as image in our minds. Maybe as objects, creatures from worlds which once existed and yet might return in some strange future. Should you walk this beach on some deserted day and come upon a structure left to mercy of the tide, then stay, remain, wander round the riddle and when satisfied, Walk on to where the crowd begins, whose merriment drowns out the sound of waves. For you have crossed centuries of time, met the artist man, shared his visions and memories, old but in the present day.